Let's start by looking at cyclohexane. It is made from six carbon atoms and 12 hydrogen atoms. And this is a cycloalkane. It comes in two forms, which and these are known as the E or Z isomers or conformers, which in their old names are known as the chair and the boat form. In this one, we can see that we have the chair form. And here we can see this in the boat form. The space filling models such as snatums need to have their structure changed by taking the model to bits and flipping it and if I do that I can take this model and if I break it in half and flip it then what we should see is I've made now the same structure as we had. So I've now turned both of these into the boat form and I can take this apart, turn this one upside down and turn it back into, as you can see, a different form. Whereas models such as the Mollymod model here we can flip the model and as I can flip the model I can change it from the boat form to the chair form, the chair form, the boat form. Now if we have a look at these models here the chair form is more stable than the boat form because the atoms are further apart. Therefore, they have a lower energy state. With the model here, we can see how the plastic bonds are deformed as I try to straighten the model up. And it easily moves between the two stable energy states, the boat and the chair form. The Statum's 3D space filling models more easily show the three hydrogen atoms in the chair form and the four hydrogen atoms showing, depending on how you look at this, in the boat form. This is the same ring, this cyclohexane ring, but what I've done is I've taken all the hydrogens off and perhaps in this form you can see more easily the chair shape and if I switch it round the boat shape. Next we have a look at benzene. This molecule is made up from six carbon atoms and six hydrogen atoms. Michael Faraday first isolated and identified benzene in 1825 from the sticky residue of may left from elementary petrochemicals. In 1865 August Kekule devised a structural model of benzene and he came up with a ring structure for this. I'll just put these and see if I can build it for you. He made it up with some alternating single and double bonds. Single and double bonds here. This model fitted the original experimental observations, but it left lots of questions unanswered. In this substance, we have a dynamic equilibrium model known as the Kekulé structure of benzene. 
This is where benzene can easily flip from one form to another. And that's where I'm looking at this double bond, swapping with this single bond, and making a structure very much like this. We can also see that this doesn't look proper because with all these alternating single and double bonds, the distances between the hydrogen atoms is different, whereas in experimental observations, they're, they're, they're found to be the same. If we look at the lengths of the carbon-carbon bonds of benzene, they're all the same length. Not, as in this model of Kekulé's structure, as it shows longer double bonds and shorter single bonds. In reality, of course, double bonds are probably shorter than single bonds. We know that this, because we look at techniques such as X-ray diffraction. If we take a substance such as cyclohexane, and to this we add a double bond, the energy in that bond will increase. So let's just take out and put in a double bond here. So here we've made a molecule of cyclohexene there's one bond if we add a further double bond This is cyclohexene. This will add more energy. But if we add the third double bond, which creates the apparent structure of benzene, here the bond energies are too high. Looking at these bond enthalpies of cyclohexane going to cyclohexene, known as hydrogenation, we can see that it requires about 120 kilojoules per mole to form and make one of these bonds and three of them to make the Kekulé structure gives us in the region of about 360 kilojoules per mole. However, in fact, in the benzene structure it's only about 200 kilojoules per mole, which leads to the idea of a delocalized ring rather than made of alternate single and double bonds. Another way that benzene is different to cyclohexane is that it will not react with a halogen whilst cyclohexane will, which we might have expected if these double bonds were present.